Hello, welcome to a new video of Dynasty War, and today I want to talk about something new. I'm gonna talk about um, what I want in this game. So today I'm just gonna start off with basic, not basic, but like focus mainly on game mechanics, not like technical stuff like how buggy or glitchy the game can, uh, sometimes could be, not anything like that, but really just game features or specific things that, um, that I want uh, in this game. Uh, it could be, and I'll provide some logical or even personal uh, reason why I think uh, it should happen or something like that. So please, if you guys agree or disagree with me, please leave, in a, leave in that in the comment and let me know uh, what you think about that as well. But the first thing I want to talk about is treasure. Uh, I want to talk about the sword hero treasure. Okay, mainly obviously the seven, uh, um, the gold one, the dragon broadsword. Right. See, um, before, I mean, a couple months, probably like half a year ago, um, they only have one star attribute for the sword uh, treasure, and it was relatively weak. So the second star attribute uh, basically buffed the sword hero by a lot, because basically you, you're you giving them a second your hands, okay? When, they, uh, when sword hero's HP is lower than one the first time, restores 18% to 50% HP, right? So, I mean... Don't mind the grammar, right? Okay, that's another thing that I want as well, but not technical stuff, just the uh, feature stuff. Um, I don't, like at that time I was like hoping for something that can really buff the um, attack aspect of, of um, Sword Hero because I agree that their Sword Hero, they do a lot of direct damage, auto attack damage, and I think if you are going to improve them, you want to improve in that point. You don't really want to give them more survivability, although giving them survivability actually buffs them as well. So. What I actually wanted is something that does splash damage, okay? Just like, just like um, the the troops, just like the tiger cavalry. Uh, the tiger cavalry does melee area splash damage, uh, as you can see, that's damage type. So I really wanted uh, Sword Hero to have that type of um, that type of uh, ability or attribute because. One of my other account, one of my main account, I use these combination, these four sword hero, as I will call them, four shoe sword hero, which sound really stupid if I say English, but I promise you it sounds it sounds better in Cantonese. But because I use these combination, all four sword hero, yes, right now, um, they all of them, I, I have the, um, I have, yes, I have this one, which, okay, you can see, um, uh, the star attribute is that they can revive 25% of the HP when they first die, which technically they don't die, uh, just below one. So I have an extra quarter of their HP uh, after after they reach uh, their their HP reaches one. So that's kind of kind of good in a way that they do survive longer. But as you can see here, three of them are active skills. So sometimes active hero you use them, and then you can let them die, and it doesn't really help because. Uh, staying alive doesn't do much because they only attack one at a time. They can't use the skill. But for example, Zhao Yun, that 25% HP is very useful to him because if he can survive for longer, he can use his skill one more time, two more time, and that might change the game. But other than that, the extra survivability doesn't really help them help these four that much. In fact, if I can have a star attribute that can inc that can uh, basically give them the ability to do splash damage, that would be much more useful because other than a lot of disadvantage of heroes, they can only attack one thing at a time. So, especially when sword hero, they spawn uh, warriors when they die. But uh, fan hero, and a lot of fan heroes in this game are so powerful, that means you can see a lot of them. And they spawn alchemists, and they can basically one-shot all the troops that you, you spawn out. And obviously, I mean, same thing for archers or the uh, heavy cavalry. Uh, heavy cavalry has their own uh, advantage because they are very tanky. Um, you probably take at least two or three uh, alchemist shots to take them out as well. But warriors are easy to take out. And I'm just spawning 10 warriors. I mean, if all four of them die, that's 40. But one alchemist can take care of that in like one second. So I really want Sword Hero to have that ability as well. Doing splash damage, just like Tiger Warriors. That's why I bring Tiger Warriors with me in, in battle. Because sometimes I only need one. If they can strike one troops, then they can basically kill all the uh, alchemists. And other than that, I mean... It, does benefit when sometimes maybe two or three of the sword, uh, of the shield hero comes in front of me, and then it takes like I mean a couple shots from my heroes to kill them. So if they can stack the damage and apply to multiple targets, 
that will be benef that will be very beneficial because Sword Hero has a very low attack speed. It's 1.2 compared to any other hero. They are slower. And you know how the animation is pretty like bad in this game when they get attacked in, in during the middle of their animation and sometimes they get stopped like that. So they don't really get to attack that much and they can only attack one target. So giving them the ability to do splash damage is very very useful I think. Some may say it's too uh, overpowered but I would say well in order to make it actual you have to make it you know some percentage to some percentage. Maybe you can go from like I don't know, 15 to 50 percent. I mean, 50 percent is a lot because the sword here, like the DPS, um, for Guan Yu, it will be the splash damage will do uh, 350, for example, if it's 50 percent. Um, it's kind of, I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's applying to troops because they will die anyways, <laughs> unless you do like less than 10 percent of the um, splash damage because 10 percent of Guan Yu is 70 already and I have treasure for him. Uh, in fact, you have to, you have to count the the fact that like, his, each of his strike is not just 700, it's actually more than that because um, of the, um, that's DPS, that's not the damage per attack, it's damage per second. So that will make a good star attribute, I thought, and I really want it. I mean, I don't know if they will ever have that, but if they will have, then that will be perfect. So that's the first thing I talk about in this video. And since uh, this is the first time, first video that I'm going to talk about this, I want to suggest another, um, another, uh, addition in this game that I really want. It's a new 7 star hero idea. So we have a lot of 7 star right now and most of them are basically an improved better version of the 6 star version. And for the longest, the longest time I really want a 7, 7 star version of Dangai's ability. Not necessarily him, but his ability. His ability uh, which is the same thing as the 5 star Huang Gai. Uh, which I'm, I'm gonna just look at the um, the, dang, the six star one. What it does is sacrifice his own HP, cause massive damage around the surrounding. 1800 damage, that's a lot. Um, especially for a six star hero that can do 1800 damage to multiple targets in the area. His skill, if you don't know, I mean, just like Zhang Fei is very useful. Um, he, his skill is on passive, and what it does is just like an explosive boom attack surrounding it kind of like that uh, maybe a bigger area even more damage if it's a seven star I, I think you can do go up to like maybe two three thousand damage that will be extremely useful as an active skill obviously you have to keep it, keep this at an active skill i mean you can kind of do it a, a passive skill too i mean the lower your hp is you have to sacrifice the same percent but you have that means it's a lower amount but i think if you keep it an active skill it's much is uh, much better to use as a shear hero because you can tank damage and then when you go into the center of the base, boom. I mean, you can uh, this in combination with other hero can easily kill the enemy heroes and uh, important structures like Purgatory Tower, Magic Crossbow, which is what a shield hero should do. They don't, they shouldn't just like tank damage and then tank, 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 and then then die. <laughs> in this case, you can make a, sh a shield hero more offensive and use them to advantage. And then if you want an awakening skill, maybe um, uh, revive, uh, not revive, but when you use your skill, you heal the HP back. Yeah, but it's kind of pointless because you're sacrificing HP. Or maybe like damage reduction, just like Guan Yu, mitigation, mitigation shield, so that they can last even longer after after they after he uses the skill. Um, just like most other heroes have, I mean, not most, but like, I think Sun Se has that, right? Um, well, I, have, I need to look at the awakened one basically have like invincibility after you use your skill because um yes his is just basically invincibility i mean you can just give like a mitigation for like i mean i don't know maybe at five out of five it's a hundred percent so you don't die for like a couple of seconds something like that which is very good now the other thing is so which hero should it be so i was looking through the six star i don't see i don't think dang dang Ai is you know remarkable or famous enough um to be to be this new seven star uh, i was looking through and then i was like okay there is a four four star that should be it, and it's Dong Zhao because he is kind of like you know famous, not for good things. I mean, see the reason why Dong Zhao could be a seven star. In fact, it's a common seven star. Why is that? Because even even this guy, <laughs> Zhang Zhao, is a common seven star. Then Dong Zhao could be because in most Dynasty Warrior or Three Kingdoms history, they are the antagonists in a way in. The first two stories right? i mean when you start off the game is usually 
you're in the perspective of Shu, and then it's like, oh, yellow turban, you you, you fight Zhang Zhao, and then after that, you fight Dong Zhou and Lu Bu because, oh, they, they kidnapped the emperor or something like that. Since Zhang Zhao is a 7-star, why can't Dong Zhou be a 7-star, right? Uh, in fact, he should be a common 7-star and have this explosive uh, uh, um, skill, and then a weakening skill give him some mitigation or, or some other effect. I mean, his current skill is just slowing movement. I mean, you, you can add that into his skill as well as a 7-star, you shouldn't just explode and do 2-3k damage. I mean, inflict like snow, sl slowness <laughs> to enemy hero or troops, I mean, troops probably can't tank that damage, but heroes can. So slow the heroes as well, this is like, I mean, in my opinion, it's a perfect idea. <laughs> I would love this hero if it's a common star, a uh, common star, common 7-star, uh, but again, the, the, um, I didn't think this is a tough ask, right? This 7 star, it's kind of like reasonable, uh, but the sword attribute might be a little bit, little bit overpowered if I, you know, just in fairness, but in, in my personal, uh, desire, I really want it so that it can fit really well with, uh, my, my combination in here. But, uh, this is it for the first video of what I want, all right? And, uh, let me know what you want, um, or just, talk about, comment about what you think my ideas are, maybe they, you think they are very bad, or maybe you think they're very good, or you have some additions to put on, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one, bye bye!